In military aviation, whispers often move faster than contrails. A sleek shape flashes across the skyline, a grainy photo leaks online, and suddenly a new contender is spoken of in briefings and back channels. That is the mood around a not-yet-official Chinese fighter that observers keep calling J-50. The stakes feel huge. Whoever masters the next jump in stealth, sensing, and teaming will shape air combat for the next decade. And yes, there is a twist. Early in this story, we will hint at it, and later, we will reveal it outright. For now, hold the name loosely, follow the features closely, and keep an eye on how the ecosystem around the jet evolves because that is where the real story tends to live. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button. It helps us beat the YouTube algorithm. To understand why this aircraft matters, start with context. Over the past decade, China has fielded and expanded a fleet of low observable fighters while modernizing shipborne aviation. Those steps suggest a shift from catching up to shaping the game. Now a new chapter appears to be opening. Images from late 2024 and 2025 show two tailless prototypes in flight testing. One looks large and long-ranged, the other more compact. The second is the focus of today's analysis. Even without formal confirmation, the pattern of sightings, chase planes, and incremental photo clarity point to sustained trials rather than a one-off teaser, which matters for gauging seriousness. The foundation for this moment is the Chengdu J-20, China's first operational stealth fighter. Open source assessments indicate rapid growth in deployed units across multiple theater commands during 2023 and 2024, showing maturing production and squadron integration. Analysts also note ongoing upgrades intended to widen range, networking, and mission flexibility. Those trends matter because a next-generation design almost always stands on the shoulders of the current fleet, sharing suppliers, tooling, and lessons from years of flight testing. In that sense, the J-20 is less a destination than the runway from which the next step can accelerate. Before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. Running in parallel is Shen Yang's lighter twin-engine stealth line derived from the FC-31, now commonly referenced as J-35 in land-based and carrier-capable forms. Public unveilings at major air shows plus recurring test activity tied to the carrier program, point to a design moving through sustained trials. Together, J-20 and J-35 give planners a mix of reach and deck operations that did not exist 15 years ago, setting the backdrop against which any tailless newcomer must compete for missions and budgets. Details continue to emerge as industry showcases prototypes and flight articles at Zhuhai and beyond. So what does a next wave look like? Across programs from Beijing to Washington to Europe, sixth-generation efforts emphasize a system of systems. A crude centerpiece connected to collaborative drones, resilient cloud-style networks, and adaptive sensing that fuses data before a pilot even asks. Chinese industry has hinted at similar architectures and concept materials, while European and US descriptions lay out parallel visions. Shared direction helps decode what a new tailless prototype likely aims to prove. Low signature, long reach, and above all, integration. It is less about a single jet, more about the team that jet leads into contested airspace. Late in 2024, two unfamiliar Chinese stealth aircraft appeared in separate locations on the very same day, both tailless, both clearly sculpted for low observability. Subsequent photos and videos through 2025 strengthened the case that these were real flight articles, not mock-ups. The larger airframe is widely linked to Chengdu, the smaller to Shenyang. The latter quickly picked up an unofficial label among watchers, J-50. The nickname stuck in headlines, even as careful analysts reminded audiences that official designations had not been announced. What have observers actually seen on the aircraft linked to Shenyang? Imagery shows a tailless, lambda-like wing, diverterless inlets, a long nose with space for sizable sensors, and signs of twin engines. Later shots revealed a clear canopy and articulated wingtips acting as control surfaces. Those choices are consistent with a design that prizes signature management, efficient crews, and broad control authority without vertical tails. They also hint at a flexible flight envelope suited to teaming with uncrewed systems. Caution, though, is essential. Nomenclature aside, little about the jet has been officially acknowledged, and photo quality can mislead. Some frames circulating online were captured at long range under haze. In other cases, lighting and angle obscure detail. Reputable analysts flag those limits even as they agree the prototypes are real. That is why responsible discussion stays with what airframe geometry implies rather than unverified performance claims. In short, every new clip or angle adds a puzzle piece, but the full picture is still under construction. 
From the airframe alone, several careful inferences follow. A tailless layout reduces radar signature from many angles and can trim drag at cruise, supporting efficient supersonic or high mock cruise if propulsion allows. Articulated wingtips add control power without reintroducing tall surfaces that reflect energy. A voluminous nose and pronounced Chinese imply space for a large active electronically scanned array and passive sensors. Flush inlets and smooth junctions aim to tame unwanted returns. None of that promises dominance by itself. It only sets the stage on which engines, software, and training decide outcomes during real missions. If the jet enters service, its edge will come from software, data links, and teaming. Chinese firms have shown collaborative combat aircraft intended to fly as loyal wingmen, while the twin-seat J-20 variant has been described as a potential airborne coordinator for mixed formations. Pair a survivable controller with lower-cost unmanned partners, and the crewed aircraft becomes a quarterback for strikes, sensing, and decoys. That philosophy matches the broader sixth-generation playbook seen in multiple countries' plans. China also fields a flying wing unmanned combat air vehicle widely called GJ-11, seen in satellite shots and public displays with internal bays suited for precision weapons or decoys. If matured, platforms of that type could scout ahead, jam, or strike under guidance from a crewed lead. A Shenyang tailless fighter operating as that lead, alongside J-20 and J-35, would fit a layered playbook visible in many forces roadmaps. Here is the promised reveal. The name J-50 sounds definitive, but it is not official. It is a placeholder used by media and analysts for the smaller of the two tailless prototypes believed to come from Shenyang. Beijing has not confirmed a designation, and core details, engines, radar, intended squadrons, remain undisclosed. The most responsible way to think about J-50 is as shorthand for the Shenyang tailless next-gen test article, pending formal labeling. Why might China pursue two tailless paths at once? A heavier Chengdu design could prioritize reach, payload, and persistent sensing across wide ocean spaces, while a somewhat smaller Shenyang jet might emphasize agility, affordability, or even carrier suitability. Running both lets engineers compare approaches, hedge technical risk, and compete for missions. It mirrors a global trend. The system matters more than any single fighter, so families of aircraft are in. Seen that way, the label matters less than the roles each airframe might fill. Across the Pacific, the United States is pushing its own next-generation package under the Next Generation Air Dominance banner. In early 2025, major outlets reported that Boeing had been selected to lead the crewed fighter element, with leaders framing a manned aircraft team to drones and advanced networks. That decision underscores how central the system of systems model has become for air arms planning for the 2030s and beyond, and it places a premium on software pipelines as much as airframes. Europe is building a similar architecture through the future combat air system led by France, Germany, and Spain. Official descriptions emphasize a new crewed fighter at the center, flanked by remote carriers and a combat cloud that ties assets together. Timelines discussed publicly point toward the 2040s for entry into service, with demonstrators before that, though schedules can shift. Whatever the precise dates, the direction is clear and aligns with the pattern seen in China and the United States. Any comparison with Russia's Su-57 is tricky because firm numbers are scarce, and wartime reporting adds noise. Even so, coverage in reputable outlets suggests production has scaled gradually and faces industrial headwinds. That does not negate the type's promise. It simply shows how demanding fifth-generation manufacturing remains. The lesson for any new tailless project is simple. Sustaining output at scale is as hard as designing a stealthy shape. Propulsion will be the make or break. Recent J-20 test articles have been photographed with indigenous high-thrust engines that aim to enable efficient supersonic crews and better climb performance. If those power plants mature into reliable series production, a future tailless jet could inherit the thrust margin needed for range and agility without afterburner. If not, designers may trade payload or endurance to hit mission targets. Engines define the envelope more than any exotic coating ever will. With airframe and engines set, the next battleground is sensing. Expect a large active array up front, panoramic infrared search, and electronic support measures to harvest emissions quietly. The real trick is fusing everything into a single picture shared across the formation at machine speed. Leaders in this field build software update pipelines as obsessively as they wind composite layups. Done well, the jet feels less like a vehicle 
and more like a node that coordinates action among manned and unmanned teammates across long distances. Weapons talk often races ahead of reality, so it is best to keep it grounded. Any operational version of a Shenyang tailless fighter would likely carry air-to-air -air missiles internally for stealth, plus modular bays adaptable for electronic attack packages or precision munitions. Hypersonic headlines grab attention, but guidance, heat management, and inventory depth are the everyday constraints that decide what actually flies. Expect incremental loadouts tested over many sorties rather than sudden leaps because reliability beats novelty in frontline service. One topic that resurfaces is so-called plasma stealth. It makes eye-catching claims, yet there is no verified evidence of any air arm fielding an operational plasma-based signature reduction system on fighters. Specialists routinely point to power, control, and integration hurdles that remain unresolved for practical service use. Today's stealth relies on shaping, materials, and disciplined emissions control, not speculative ionized gas clouds. Sensible analysis should treat plasma claims as unproven until demonstrated by credible trials. Testing is its own marathon. Taxi runs become brief hops, then longer flights, then envelope expansion and systems checks. Sensors must survive rain, salt air, and vibration. Software must scale from lab rigs to the chaos of a carrier deck or a winter runway. Imagery and reports show the Shenyang prototype flying repeatedly in 2025, which is necessary but not sufficient. The distance from a busy test card to a deployed squadron spans years of patient work. Industry capacity will be decisive. Over recent years, outside assessments using satellite imagery suggest Chinese final assembly lines have increased throughput on current stealth types. Keeping that pace while introducing a new airframe, new engines, and new avionics is an integration challenge on par with the design itself. If the tailless Shenyang program clears that bar, it will be because factories, suppliers, and coders moved in lockstep from prototype to fleet. So where are things right now? As of mid-2025, the measured summary is this. A Shenyang-built tailless stealth test article is flying. Analysts commonly, but unofficially, call it J-50. Many specifics are unknown, and its future will be defined less by a single headline feature than by engines, software, teaming, and production scale. The next truly telling signs will come from repetitive, unglamorous test cycles and the units that begin training around the design. That is what will separate rumor from reality. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Your support means a lot.